with Falcon Wind Doors. Falcon Wind Doors are a lot like Gold Wind Doors. And they create, they, they open up on the outside and above Model S. It creates a lot of room for the occupants to move in and out of. And for a rescuer, with the removal of those doors, it creates a lot of access to our patients within the vehicle. Today, the guys are going to go through and do a front door removal. Then they'll remove that falcon wing door, and we'll walk you through that removal. It's a little bit different than the old intervention door. After that, they'll move to a dash displacement evolution. They'll move the dashboard of Model X. Then they'll go back to that B-pillar. The B-pillar is ultra high strength steel. It's one of the strongest B-pillars on the roadway. Dual phase 980 steel on the outside with boron on the inside. So when, that, when, we, when we cut that B-pillar, that'll be pretty exciting. We'll get a lot of sound off of it, the movement off of it. It's a very impressive B-pillar. So that'll complete our total sidewall removal. Quickly, before they get going, I'd like to thank Tesla Motors for supporting this event and for Hearst, Hearst Jobs Life for bringing these vehicles in as well. This is important training. Tesla Motors has shown a commitment the first responder safety with the creation of a training video for the Tesla Model S and a training video for the Tesla Model X. And you can find those all at the Tesla website, along with the emergency response pack. I want to introduce to you Mike McConnell with Tesla Motors here. Mike has come out from the factory in Fremont, California, and he's here to answer any questions that you might have that are Tesla specific. So he's a great resource. Hit him up after the demonstration if you'd like more information on the Tesla products. And of course, the Hearst Jaws of Life guys are here to answer any questions you have about the tools being used to cut, to do the cutting today and that are in the booth. So I'm Rob Archer with Advanced Education. Let's go ahead and get this started. The guys will start by removing the front door of Model X. They're starting with a modified vertical crush. What you notice about this door is that there's no door handle on the outside of the front door. With Model X and Model S and many new late model vehicles, they're using electric doors on the outside doors of the vehicle. There's no mechanical linkage there. So for a rescuer, what that means is that if 12 volt power is shut down in the vehicle, we're not going to be able to utilize that door handle on the outside. But all vehicles that utilize an electric door handle on the outside they have mechanical linkage handle on the inside of the door. So as a rescuer, we can reach inside and utilize that internal handle to get that door open when we don't have 12 volt power. Typical latching and hinges on the front door of Model X. Cast hinges. Most of the Tesla Model X is constructed out of aluminum. This isn't soda can aluminum, this is high strength, very brittle, very strong aluminum. So it's different than our steel construction that we typically see in our conventional vehicles. They cut that door off. The behavior of the aluminum is that it breaks under pressure. Unlike steel where it may flex and bend, for the Falcon Wing door, we have a two-piece door. It's hinged at the roof rail where the top of the spreader is now. What we're doing here is we're breaking the top of the door away from the bottom of the door. This will leave us with two pieces of door, one that will be attached below and one that they're going to lift up and over top of the Model X and get it out of the way. The top section of door is equipped with a high tension spring that brings that door up and over Model X. So control must be maintained when we're, when we're separating the two pieces of door so that that top piece of door doesn't come up and become a, a hazard to the rest of yours. Larry's going to bring the cutter in now and cut that last piece of door sill to remove or to separate the two sections of door. And you can see Tim has his hand on the top section to make sure that that high tension spring doesn't drive that door up violently. Wow. With the Tesla Model X and with all electrical hybrid vehicles, we want to be aware of the shutdown procedures of the high voltage system before we take action on the vehicle. 
That information can again be found on the test sold website. Another unique feature of a falcon wing door is that it doesn't have a roof rail to put the airbag in from the side for an airbag. So Tesla has utilized the bottom section of the falcon wing door in order to place that airbag and put it up and over the window of the side falcon wing door. Falcon wing door, the bottom section is held on by one latch in the center bottom of the door. That's how the door remains closed. A single latch at the bottom section. Now you can see the top section is out of the way and above the vehicle. The rescue specialists are now going to prepare for dash displacement. Because of the aluminum body structure, the components that are holding the strut tower up the rail and dash are different than our conventional construction. When we're working in this bit where we have an aluminum body structure, it's more important than ever that we evaluate that upper rail truck power assembly and be sure we make the appropriate relief cuts in order to move the dash. With the hood removed, you can see the truck tower is very different, the upper rail is different, and we've got some supports that we don't think we can see. Removing the fender of the vehicle to get good access to that upper rail. Notice the way that fender broke as it was being removed. We don't see that with steel construction. That's a characteristic of dealing with this aluminum body structure. Here you may see that the aluminum strut tower may separate from the upper rail. Again, we talked about the aluminum breaking more brittle than what we're used to, so we can often just use the spreader to break the away rather than having to get the spreader out of the network. Larry will come in now and do some additional relief cuts. In the, in the front end of the vehicle. Here we've got a connection from the upper rail to the strut tower, being separated for our dash system. Clear the space for the cutter, and Larry will go in and make that cut to relieve that strut tower from that upper rail. One of the things that we see with aluminum body structures and dash displacement is that without really good relief cuts in, in the accident, these areas weren't broken away, but we really need to get good relief cuts because the aluminum lower egg pillar that we're going to push on for our dash displacement is made of the same brittle aluminum that we're dealing with here. So it has a tendency to break off as we push on it. So these relief cuts are, are very important. And this is the final relief cut in the upper rail start tower assembly. From here, the guys are going to move to the A pillar or the A post of the vehicle. They're going to double cut that area again to make sure that when they push on the dash, it doesn't get hung up on itself. Here we're just opening up a, a little section in the lower A pillar so that Larry can get the cutter in place. Notice he's going perpendicular to the vehicle with this cut. His intention here is to create an opening on the outside of that A pillar, so that when he goes to make his second cut, the tool will run outside of the vehicle rather than, rather than into the occupant. Model X is equipped with two curtain airbags. We talked about the Falcon Wing door airbags in the bottom section of the top and wing doors. The second turn the airbag is located in the A-pillar, in the windshield area, running up just slightly into the roof rail. And the inflation cylinder for that pillar is located almost touching the dashboard on that A-pillar. So we have two different curtain airbags and two different inflation cylinders for those bags. Here's the second cut 
This separates the area of the dash that we're going to be moving or displacing from the rocker panel, rocker channel of the big pole. A quick check for the airbag and they'll double cut the eight pillar that we were talking about a little bit earlier. This eight pillar is aluminum outer skin with a dual phase 980 center. And you'll hear that break in just a second. One more cut in that eight pillar and we'll be ready to move the gas on Model X. Once we finish our dash displacement, we're going to move on to complete our dual sidewall by removing the B-pillar. That's when we'll be cutting through that dual phase 980 and boron steel in the upper section of the B-post. Right now, we're leaving that B-post in place, so we have something to push off of with our ram for our dash displacement. Tim's getting the ram in place. What the guys are going to do is they're going to break everything loose using the ram. And I really like this technique. We break everything loose using the ram. Once we've freed all the structure, we can come in with the spreaders, hold the material in place, or even take it a little bit further. This allows us to remove our ram and get good access to our occupants. Starting our total sidewall removal. Multiple layers of dual phase 980, no aluminum in this area. Multiple layers of dual phase 980 with boron center. What you're going to hear when this pillar breaks is exactly that. It's all of that steel breaking. It's not being cut. Pressure of the tool is actually breaking the material.
So we thank you all. Take care and be safe.